Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, you know who it is, coming at you guys back again once again with a brand new video, and ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome you guys to our next Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon competitive guide slash review, and in this video, we are going to be going over Necrozma. Dawn Wings form. So with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are new here to the channel, then be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to be a part of our community and you want to see more content like this. And also be sure to smash the like button if you like what you see. With all that being said, though, guys, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the basics of Necrozma Dawn Wings form by taking a look at the typing, abilities, and stats. So for Dawn Wings form, it is going to be having that of a psychic ghost typing, much similar to that of Lunala. And then we take a look at the ability and much like its counterpart being Dusk Main Necrozma, this Pokemon also gets access to Prism Armor. And for those of you guys that aren't aware of what Prism Armor does, it is basically an improved version of Filter or Solid Rock. What this does is it reduces the damage of super effective moves by 25%. And the thing is, though, is that you would normally think that, well, wait a second, what about Mold Breaker? Doesn't Mold Breaker go through Prism Armor? No, it doesn't. You, Mold Breaker might go through any other ability, but it will not go through Prism Armor, which is very, very awesome. So I just wanted to share that tidbit for something to keep in mind for future reference. And then we get to the stats. So its HP is going to be at a pretty considerable base 97, which isn't too bad, but it isn't exactly the best either. But then we get to the attack. It is going to be at base 113, which is pretty good. Base 109 defense, which is also pretty good. But then we get to the special attack stat. It is going to be that of base 157. So clearly right then and there, you know what this Pokemon is going to be destined to do in battle. Being a special sweeper. But the thing is, though, ladies and gentlemen, is that this Pokemon has a really solid base 127 special defense. Meaning that this Pokemon can, in fact, take hits from the special side and the physical side with base 109 as well. And then we get to its speed stat, which is not that impressive. It's base 77. I mean, it's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but if you are comparing the average speed stat from Uber Pokemon, this Pokemon, as well as Dusk Main Necrozma, is relatively slow for Uber standards, meaning that it will likely be outpaced unless you are carrying some sort of Choice Scarf or have some sort of set that involves you setting up some speed. But with all that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to move on to the types, resistances, and weaknesses. So for Dawnwing's Necrozma, we take a look at the Psychic and Ghost typing, and with that typing, right off the bat, you are going to have two four times weaknesses, that being the Ghost and Dark. Both weaknesses, I might add, are very, very common and very exploitable because that leaves you open to the likes of being picked off by priority, such as Shadow Sneak. You also end up getting Pursuit Trapped. Well, I mean, you run the risk of being Pursuit Trapped, so this is definitely something that you need to keep in mind and be able to have a safe way of dealing with these typings. But then again, though, ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon does have access to Prism Armor, which will reduce the damage of its weaknesses by a little bit, but it is still something that you definitely need to consider when using Dawn Wings Necrozma. But that's where the bad news ends, ladies and gentlemen, because then we go to the immunities. It has an immunity to normal and fighting both types are very common in battle, and the fact that it has really solid immunities to normal and fighting makes this Pokemon's typing, well, not that bad, to be honest with you. And then we take a look at the resistances. It's going to have a resistance to the likes of Poison and Psychic. So, all in all, this Pokemon's typing may have its own crippling weaknesses, that being a Ghost and Dark, but that is where the bad news ends and the rest is history from here. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's now go ahead and take a look at some sets that you can use for Dawn Wings Necro. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so with the first set here, we're going to be taking a look at the ability, while its only ability is going to be that of Prism Armor, but then we take a look at the item of choice, it is going to be Weakness Policy. I think you guys know where we're going with this. Now, the thing is though, ladies and gentlemen, is although this Pokemon doesn't have as many weaknesses as its counterpart does, this Pokemon is still a pretty solid user of weakness policy if it doesn't get knocked out. But the thing is though, is that this Pokemon does have the bulk and does have the ability to, sit, to soak up some of those super effective hits. So with weakness policy, if you are hit by a super effective move, you get a boost in your attack and special attack by two stages, which is pretty damn awesome. And 
then we get to the nature. It is going to be that of a modest nature. Now, you can run timid if you want, but you're going to want to have as much special power as possible. So, we're going to have 252 EVs into the special attack, 252 into the speed, 4 into special defense, and a 0 attack IV. So, that way you can take minimal damage from the likes of foul play as little as possible. But then we get to the set itself. And Moonguy's Beam is going to be its signature move and the move that is practically irreplaceable because this move right here hits for 100 base power. It is a solid special ghost type move that ignores the opponent's abilities, which is pretty damn awesome. It's going to ignore the likes of Sturdy and that right there is just going to be completely nice. And then we get to the second move. It is going to be its psychic stab known as Photon Geyser, which is going to be utilizing the special attack stat in this situation here, given the fact that it is the higher of the two offensive stats. And then we take a look at the next move. It is going to be that of Earth Power, which basically means that any sort of switch-ins to this thing, whether it's a Steel type or a Fire type, like Primal Groudon, the Earth Power is going to smack them for super effective damage, which is absolutely fantastic. And then last but not least, we're going to be giving this Pokemon Rock Polish. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Rock Polish is a move that's going to double the speed in one single turn. So... That's why we are running Modest instead of something like Timid, because you're going to want to have as much natural special attack as possible, paired with the possible boost from Weakness Policy and with a boost from Rock Polish. This Pokemon is going to be a very, very scary threat to face off against in battle when all is said and done, so you best better believe that this Pokemon is going to be making an impact in the Uber's metagame. So, with all that being said, there are other options as to how you can use the set. I mean, you can sub out Earth Power for Heat Wave. Uh, you can sub out one of its stabs for Heat Wave or Earth Power, depending on what moves you are using and what your type coverage lacks for your team. It's entirely up to you, but this right here is my set of preference. The Weakness Policy set, Rock Polish, three attacks. How you doing, baby? So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and let's move on to the next set. Set. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so for the second set, we're going to be taking a look at the ability. It is going to be that of Prism Armor. She kind of go with saying that's going to be its only ability that's only going to be able to use. And then we take a look at the item of choice. It is going to be that of Leftover, so that we have a little bit of residual recovery at the end of every turn. And then we take a look at the nature. It is going to be that of a Calm Nature, which is going to be lowering the attack and boosting the special defense. And we're going to run max HP with 252 EVs, max special defense with 252 EVs, and four special attack with a zero attacking IV. And then we get to the first move, Stealth Rocks. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be using this Pokemon as a specially defensive wall that can set up hazards. And Stealth Rock is a really solid entry hazard that every single time you switch in a Pokemon, depending on its typing, it is going to be accruing some damage, which is pretty solid, especially if your team, your opponent's team, I should say, has access to Pokemon that are four times weak to Stealth Rocks. Half their health, gone. So, up next, we have ourselves Toxic. Yes, we're going to be turning this Pokemon into a Pokemon that's meant to cripple other walls with the likes of Toxic and other switch-ins too. And Toxic combined with Stealth Rocks just give this Pokemon really, really solid utility. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be utilizing Moonlight, which is a move that allows for you to restore a various amount of HP depending on the weather. If you have weather that involves the use of the sun, then Moonlight is going to recover more than 50%, but if you are going against weather the likes of Sandstorm, against the likes of Hail, the likes of Rain, then it's going to be recovering a lot less than 50%, but either way, it is still a very solid move to have to allow for you to last a lot longer in battle. And then last but not least, we're going to want to have access to Moon Geist Beam. So that way, not only do you have a move, so that way, in case you get taunted, you're not entirely taunt bait. But this is a great move to have in general, because it is not only stab, but even uninvested base 157 special attack and Moon Geist Beam with stab, it's still going to be hurting quite a bit. But that right there is just my opinion, my personal preference. Feel free to switch up the moves if you so choose. And with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and let's move on to set number three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present you guys the next set that you can use for Dawn Wings Necrozma. The ability that we're going to be using, well, it's only ability, should kind of go without saying, is going to be that of Prism Armor. And then up next, we take a look at the item of choice. It is going to be that of Life Orb. So we're clearly going to be taking a more offensive approach here in this situation. And then we get to the nature. It is going to be that of a modest nature, so that way you have 
a further boost in your special attack while lowering your attack. Definitely not going to be needing your attack set in this situation. And then we get to the EV sprint. This is going to be that of 252 special attack, 252 speed, 4 special defense with a 0 attack IV. And then we get to the moves of the set. The first move is going to be that of Calm Mind, which is going to be boosting your special attack and special defense by one stage apiece. And then we get to the next move. It is going to be that of Rock Polish, which is going to boost your speed stat by two stages. And this is what I like to call the Double Dancing set. Now, this Pokemon right here, with these two moves, allows for it to have plenty of options to set up. But the thing is, though, is that it does leave itself open to the fact that its type coverage is going to be rather limited. But this set can be played around with. So, with the next move that we got going on, it is going to be that of Earth Power. So that way you have really solid ground type coverage against the likes of Primal Groudon and bulky Fire and Steel type Pokemon that may try to switch in and ruin your day. And then last but not least, we have ourselves Moongeist Beam. Should kind of go without saying, it is going to be a really, really solid Ghost type stab. Almost like I said an irreplaceable move well it is an irreplaceable move but it's entirely up to you as to what moves you want to use for this set now with the details of the set being out of the way there are some things that I do want to say here about the set and that is the fact that you can use this set however way you see fit uh, if you have something like say speed control on your team such as a sticky webs user or such as a thunder wave user then it is possible for you to take out rock polish and put in a coverage move like say heat wave or hidden power or something like that whatever you want and same if you want to take out something like Calm Mind, if you feel the need to use this Pokemon more as a late game sweeper slash cleaner rather than a setup sweeper, you can take out Calm Mind and put in something like Heat Wave or a move of your own choice. But that right there is just my opinion and same with the item. You don't have to use Life Orb if you're worrying about chipping away this Pokemon's health whenever you use a move. You can use something like Leftovers to aid you with a little bit of residual recovery at the end of each turn. You can use something like Citrus Berry. And speaking of berries, ladies and gentlemen, let's also not forget that this Pokemon is a great user of a super effective damage reducing berry that is going to be reducing the damage of super effective moves, that being Ghost and Dark types. Because keep in mind, this Pokemon does have a four times weakness to the likes of Ghost and dark so if you want to use one of those super effective damage reducing berries then it's entirely up to you that would be my recommendation so that way you have a way to tank up a very dangerous super effective hit and you will be able to have a chance to set up and sweep or however you use a set you'll be able to use this pokemon to your own heart's content so with all that being said ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and let's move on to the next set all right ladies and gentlemen so for this last set that we got going on here we're gonna be taking a look at the ability it's gonna be that of prism armor and then we take a look at the item of choice we're gonna be using an assault vest on this thing because combined with the fact that this thing has a really solid base 127 special defense with assault vest further boosting the special defense by 50 percent at the price though that you are only allowed to use attacking moves this Pokemon is going to be made to be taking special hits. I mean, that's just absolutely fantastic. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we take a look at the nature. It's going to be that of a modest nature, so that way you'll have as much special attack as possible while reducing the attack. And then we get to the EV spread. It's going to be that of 248 HP, 252 special attack, and 8 into special defense with a 0 attacking IV. You should kind of go without saying you're really not going to be needing your attack like at all when it comes to using Dawn Wings Necrozma. And then we get to the first move. It's going to be a signature move known as Moongeist Beam, which is going to offer really solid ghost type stab in conjunction with the fact that it's going to be ignoring the effects of the opponent's abilities when you use this move. And then the next move is going to be that of Photon Geyser, a really solid base 100 power psychic type move that's going to be hitting for special attack damage, given the fact that you're going to be using your special attack rather than your attack stat clearly the higher of the two offense stats so then up next we're going to be using earth power which is going to be really solid coverage against the likes of primal groudon and any other bulky steel and fire type pokemon that try to switch in on you and then last but not least we are going to be using heat wave because this is a really solid fire type move to catch any steel pokemon off guard and this right here, this is just one of many ways that you can run this set. You can run Assault Vest with max special attack, max speed. Hell, you can even run something like Choice Specs on this thing if you want. This Pokemon is a great Choice Specs user. And with its base 157 special attack, Choice Specs, 
it's going to be hitting very hard like a truck. Like, it already doesn't hit hard like a truck already, man. But that right there is just some scary power with the combination of choice specs. But with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's really up to you on how you want to utilize these sets. These are just my personal recommendations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that right there is going to conclude this video. I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, then make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. And also be sure, if you're new here, to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys be the first to know when you see me upload next and if you want to be a part of the community and to see me upload again. So with all that being said, I want to say thank you guys all very, very much for watching this video. Also be sure to leave your own sets for how you would use Dawn Wings Necrozma in the comment section down below. I always love hearing from you guys. And that's it. Hope you guys have yourself a good night. Don't forget, subscribe, support, stay positive, keep it 100, and I also love you guys. So I'll see you guys next upload.